Hi there, I'm João Frigerio, and this is I Work in Sports Interview. This is the show where we talk to accomplished sport business professionals and recruiters in the industry uh, and have them uh, sharing their knowledge, their experience and advice in order to help you succeed in your career. Today we're here at the I Work in Sport Job Fair in Lausanne and uh, we have the pleasure to have with us uh, the head of legal and human resources of uh, Juventus Football Club, Fabio Tucci. Fabio, thank you so much uh, for being here. I'm very proud and happy to be here. Uh, it has been uh, a really important day for us, to us, more than we expected. It's the first time Juventus take part uh, to a uh, job fair, international job fair, at an international level and not only, of course, Italian level. Yep. So we are uh, very happy of the outcome. We want to share some advice. Uh, you participated in a excellent panel. The industry is changing very, very fast. and. Uh, I want to know what are the skills uh, that are necessary for people that are now entering uh, the, the sports market. We have of course to raise the bar compared to the past because of the fact that we changed a lot in the last 10 years. I think uh, are very, very, very important the soft skills uh, and uh, people, uh, to, we, we are looking, we are seeking people without fear, uh, people uh, um, keen on talking, discussing problems uh, uh, and, and uh, of course international level so they have to speak languages. A, a bit of Italian is important in order uh, to uh, work also uh, with the people at the quarter uh, without issues, therefore English uh, is uh, necessary. Uh, and at the end of the day in other in other languages important like French Spanish uh, Portuguese or uh, German of course excellent so be fearless and uh, work on your soft skills language of course Italian is a plus but as you mentioned that interview is not strictly necessary mm -hmm. for some uh, parts of, it, of Juventus of it's becoming a more and more international company but um, you interviewed uh, sort of many people here today, uh, as you do in your job um, at uh, Juventus. If someone is now has an interview booked with you, what would be a, the advice that you would give to someone preparing to have an interview with you? I think uh, it's important to explain uh, uh, really well uh, uh, the, the, the CV, the resume, the, to explain uh, the scholarship, uh, uh, the languages, uh, also the value, the pillars uh, of the personality. Apart from the hard skill, of course, uh, I take them for granted. So you have the hard skills, of course, as a candidate, but as I said before, it's important to have a vision, uh, a psychological uh, a vision of the behavioral uh, characteristic features of the person. And what about, let's say, the nationality aspect? Uh, here at the, the job fair, we had many international candidates uh, coming really from all over the world and many lining up to speak with you. So all hoping to uh, perhaps have the chance to work for the love brand that uh, Juventus is. What are their chances really? Because in Europe we understand that it can be strict, it can be difficult. Uh, what's the possibility of someone that is not Italian or even not European to work uh, for Juventus? We face this problem since three or four years, but I think uh, it's not a big issue for the moment in Italy. So we can hire uh, European and non-European uh, people, respecting the laws, respecting the regulations. But for us, it's not an issue. We do our best to do it. And uh, of course, uh, uh, for what, not depending on us, uh, uh, we do our best and we'll see what we can do. But we don't have uh, big problems, big issues in doing this. Uh, and I hope uh, uh, for the future so we, we can have 40% of people, non-Italian people, working for Juventus, hoping to have other offices in other countries uh, uh, in order to, to face, to tackle all business issues and to take all opportunities. 
well, it's uh, really interesting for everyone that has this uh, dream even to go and uh, work for Juventus. And uh, to end, it's going to be a difficult one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult question because we're going to talk about sort of the dream job. These people, uh, these people that are out there love sports and are looking for a sort of dream job. And if you were to give one golden advice, like if you can, the opportunity to have one yeah, spectacular advice to someone, what would that be? I think uh, since the beginning, since the, the scholarship, uh, to be keen on sports, to be keen uh, to be to work in sports, and to understand what to do, to do it, uh, to succeed, uh, and study, having in mind uh, uh, to be hired by uh, by a sport company or club uh, or a public or private body operating in sport, and studying, uh, uh, discussing, understanding um, what uh, these these bodies. Uh, do and uh, how they work uh, and this is uh, I think a golden rule to do it. So research and study uh, that uh, you know information is key knowledge is uh, super important and this is what will get you to your dream job. Yeah. Fabio thank you so much uh, for thank participating with this actually the, the whole day uh, you also participated um, in our um, webinar a few weeks ago that was Excellent. Again, I can't uh, thank you enough. Thank you very and uh, much. it was an honor to have uh, you and uh, Juventus with four people participating here at uh, I work in, uh, the I Work in Sports Job Fair. And uh, yes, so to all of you that would like to hear more about professionals in the industry, people actually recruiting you to your potentially dream job. So I would say to uh, subscribe to our channel, Mark, that's uh, the bell sign there to get our alerts whenever we publish uh, new videos and uh, we'll certainly uh, be coming with a new content uh, soon out of uh, out of this all right thank you so much i see you soon thank you fabio thank you very much